Now, let me show you how to add signatures to emails in StackMail. So to add signature, first you'll need to log into your email account. And after logging in, you'll be presented with a page that looks like this. This is your email account where you can be able to send and uh, receive or see your uh, received emails. Now, on your left-hand side, go to settings. And then I look for identities. Then uh, under the identities, you'll need to create one or just use the one that is already existing. And in this case, we have this email here, which is sales1 at divibanks.com. So you click on that. So first I, I will need to say how I would like my email or people receiving my emails to see my emails. So I'll say when they receive that, I want them to see uh, that it is Patrick from TV Banks. We're sending the emails. And then the email is sales one dvbanks.com. The company is dvbanks LLC. Then reply to, I want them to reply to the same email. If I want them to reply to a different email, I would into that, but I want them to BCC info. This is this is an email account that I would like to have in copy whenever I receive an email. If it points, oh. and that will be the default. Then the signature, I already have a signature in place. Uh, this is what we are going to have as the signature. I have best regards, my name, my position. Then I'll have the logo here, and then the location, then. The contact details so this is what i'm going to have so i'll go back and click on this icon here to give you the html interface uh, you have something like that which is a way way better so i'll copy the first part of the signature which is this copy and then come here and paste it then um I will enter and then insert the logo. Do we have that? Click on this icon here for more. And then look for the icon for pictures, which is this. So we want to upload a picture. Click on this. And then add image. They have an image already, which is this. Open. So this is the image. So you click on the image, that will be the image. It's 41 by 129 in terms of height. So that's okay for me. If you want to resize it, you just bring this here and then you resize it like that. And then once I'm done with that, I'll enter and then bring the second and the last part of the, um, the signature. There is the location and the contact details, including the the website link, uh, copy of that and then paste. So I will want to format this a little bit. Like in this case, I would like to bold this, my name, and then also try and bold this. But then again, increase the font size to let's say 14 for the position. And then this one, I would also want to bold this as well as this and this I would like to have this as a link so I will call I will insert link as https www.evibanks.com so I have that and then paste I mean save then once everything is set I can now go ahead and you know click save so that will take a little to save so successfully saved 
Now, after you've added a signature to your email, every time you'll be sending an email, a new email, the signature will always be uh, put right at the bottom of your email. So let's see. Click on Compose. So you can create a new email. So I'm going to do a test email and see how it looks like. So this is actually the template. Uh, the email will be coming from Patrick from DiviBank. So remember, we set this up at the identities um, uh, section. And then I want to send this email to, let's say, um, uh, another or one of the team members that is support at DiviBank's. And this email, I'll get a copy. There is the info, we'll get a copy. And if they were to reply to this email, I want the reply to come back to the same email. So subject, test, email. So you can see that here we have the, the footer just as we had uh, set it up. So to be able to edit in a text format, click on that. And then okay so that you get to use the tools these tools here so you can see that we have best regards the name of the sender and uh, the position uh, there is the logo there is I mean basically the content of the uh, the email signature just as we had set it up before uh, we write here so this is a test email let's see how it looks like best regards patrick lumumba marketing manager dizzy banks you know something like that and then once you're done click on send so the email will be sent to this user here and that's all